For nearly 14 years, Israeli spies had been targeting Iran's senior nuclear scientist, Mohsen Fakhri Zadeh, who led a clandestine program to produce a nuclear bomb. On November 27, 2020, Israeli intelligence officials killed the scientist, shocking the globe. Welcome everyone, in today's video, we're going to tell you Iran's just showed killer robot army, ready to join forces with Palestine. Artificial intelligence in warfare. Can emerging military technology be harnessed before it's too late? But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Fakhrizadeh and his wife had left the Caspian coast and were driving in a convoy of four cars to their family home in the Iranian countryside. As they approached a U-turn, a barrage of bullets broke their windscreen, striking Fakhrizadeh twice. The Israeli operative who carried out the assassination did not have to escape the scene. The shooter utilized a remote-controlled machine gun that was activated from more than 1,000 miles away. The Mossad had modified a Belgian-made weapon with an innovative robotic equipment that fit into the bed of a pickup truck and was outfitted with a slew of cameras, providing a complete view of the target and its surroundings. To account for the delay in signal transmission to the weapon, the Mossad deployed artificial intelligence software that took into account time lag, truck shaking induced by each bullet fired, and Fakhrizadeh's vehicle speed. Rather than being an aberration, the operation has foreshadowed future innovation. Nations large and small are rushing to acquire advanced drones, incorporate computational targeting analysis, and build a variety of autonomous land and sea-based weapons, all with minimal control or constraint. As a result, countries must quickly reach an agreement on common standards for the development, deployment, and employment of these weapons in combat. To improve oversight and predictability, scientists and governments should examine what actions major AI powers could take. The United States could set an example by promising to oversee its own AI weapons research. It might also collaborate with other governments to form an independent expert monitoring committee to keep track of how AI is employed in combat. Finally, governments should join together to establish usage guidelines for new military technology before it is too late. From Kyiv to Gaza, AI systems important to national security have a wide range of applications, but they can be broadly divided into upstream activities intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, command and control, information management, and training, and downstream duties, target selection and engagement. Concretely, AI applications provide militaries with increased analytic capacity the ability to accumulate and analyze battlefield data, as well as operational capacity, for missile strikes and the deployment of autonomous A-powered drones. Some experts suggest that the U.S. cannot afford to hinder progress towards fully autonomous weapons should the Chinese or Russians outperform them. And, to be sure, AI capabilities are fast expanding. As the Ukraine conflict and the hostilities in Gaza demonstrate, Without a common framework and agreed-upon norms, states risk a race to the bottom, deploying increasingly lethal systems with little constraints. The ongoing conflict in Ukraine has been hailed as a super lab of invention, allowing digital businesses and entrepreneurs to test new tools straight on the battlefield. The fight highlighted a significant shift in how war is fought. One of the most significant changes has been the implementation of integrated battle management systems, which provide real-time information regarding troop movements and locations, all the way down to basic unit levels. Today, a column of tanks or a column of advancing troops can be discovered in three to five minutes and hit in another three minutes. Commander Vadim Skibitsky, a senior member of Ukraine's military intelligence service, warned the survivability on the move is no more than 10 minutes. The Ukrainian front line has been inundated by unmanned aerial vehicles, which not only give ongoing observation of combat developments, but when combined with AI-powered targeting systems, allow for the near-instantaneous destruction of military equipment. Naturally, both Russia and Ukraine have turned to counter-drone electronic warfare to mitigate the impact of unmanned aerial vehicles. However, this has triggered another development, a quick desire for full autonomy, 
According to military expert TDX, Hummus, autonomous drones will not have the vulnerable radio link with pilots, nor will they require GPS direction. Autonomy will also significantly enhance the number of drones that can be deployed at the same time. Military AI is also influencing the fighting in Gaza. After Hamas fighters startled Israel's soldiers by neutralizing the country's iron wall, a 40-mile-long physical barrier studded with intelligent video cameras, laser-guided sensors, and powerful radar, Israel recaptured the technical initiative. The Israel Defense Forces, on Bifafbiv employing an AI targeting technology known as the Gospel. According to reports, the technology is playing an important part in the continuing invasion by producing automated recommendations for selecting and striking. The system was initially used in 2021, during Israel's 11-day battle with Hamas. The IDF claims that it struck 15,000 targets in Gaza over the first 35 days of the 2023 conflict. Disan Khorasan, Israel struck 5,000 to 6,000 targets during the course of the 51-day Gaza conflict in 2014, while the Gospel provides valuable military capabilities. The civilian toll is concerning. According to one source, the site is a mass assassination factory that prioritizes quantity over quality. There is also a concern that Israel's dependence on AI targeting would result in automation bias, in which human operators are predisposed to accept machine-generated recommendations in situations when humans might have reached alternative conclusions. Is it feasible to reach a worldwide consensus? As the wars in Ukraine and Gaza demonstrate, rival military are pushing ahead to use automated tools. Despite a lack of agreement on the ethical boundaries for using untested technologies on the battlefield, my research demonstrates that major nations, such as the United States, are devoted to exploiting attributable, autonomous systems in all domains. In other words, major military are reconsidering fundamental warfighting principles and relying heavily on new technologies. These trends are especially troubling, given the numerous unsolved questions. What are the restrictions for utilizing lethal autonomous drones or robot machine guns in populous areas? What precautions are necessary and who is responsible if civilians are harmed? As more governments believe that AI weapons hold the key to the future of warfare, they will be incentivized to invest resources in developing and disseminating these technologies. While it may be unrealistic to ban lethal autonomous weapons or restrict AI-enabled tools, states can nonetheless take greater initiative to shape how they are utilized. The United States has sent mixed signals in this regard, while the Biden administration has produced a set of regulations describing the responsible use of autonomous weapons and urging countries to adopt shared principles of accountability for AI weapons, the U.S. has also stalled progress in international forums. In an ironic twist, at a recent uncommittee meeting on autonomous weapons, the Russian delegation supported the American stance, which argued that placing autonomous weapons under meaningful human control was overly restrictive. First, the United States should commit to provide serious oversight of the Pentagon's development of autonomous and a weaponry. The White House's new executive order on artificial intelligence requires the creation of a national security memorandum outlining how the government would address national security vulnerabilities posed by the technology. One suggestion for the memo is to form a civilian national security A board, presumably modeled after the Privacy and Civil Freedoms Oversight Board organization, and trusted with ensuring that the federal government balances terrorism prevention efforts with civil freedoms. Such an entity could be given oversight responsibilities for AI applications, presumed to have an impact on safety and rights, as well as monitoring ongoing AI processes. Whether advising on the Defense Department's new Generative AI Task Force or advising the Pentagon on AI products and systems being developed in collaboration with the private sector, a related suggestion is for national security agencies to form independent A-risk assessment teams. These units would be in charge of integrating evaluation, design, learning, and risk assessment functions, which would include developing operational standards and safeguards, testing for hazards, directing AI red teaming efforts, and conducting post-action reviews. Second, the United States and other democracies should advocate for the formation of an internationally recognized independent expert committee 
to monitor the long-term effects of AI tools employed in warfare? For example, if reports are correct that 90% of the targets hit in the Gaza battle were as a result of AI-generated recommendations, policymakers should have a more detailed grasp of the risks and advantages of these systems. What are the civilian implications of these targeting platforms? What parameters are being used? And what level of control is being provided for the targeting algorithms? What accountability procedures are in place? The group's objective would be to highlight worrying areas of activity and provide recommendations to governments and international organizations on how to address growing problems. Finally, states should agree on a standard of behavior for how militaries would exploit developing technology in battle. The way states utilize new technology to advance their security goals has a Wild West feel. The concern is that countries, particularly non-democratic regimes, may start a race to the bottom, employing increasingly lethal combinations of tools for devastating effect. Governments could reach an agreement on basic parameters, drawing on military AI principles proposed by the United States and other countries, to ensure that the use of AI weapons is consistent with international humanitarian law, and that safeguards are in place to reduce the risk of inadvertent escalation and catastrophic failures. That's all for today's video. This is far from the first time that international leaders have faced the destructive potential of new technologies. Just as global leaders came together after World War II established behavioral guidelines through the Geneva Conventions, international leaders should make a similar effort with AI technologies. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.